Today, solar energy is the most promising area for generating electricity. The only serious drawback is the inability to operate solar power plants at night. And while scientists from all over the world are looking for innovative ways to solve this issue, the Shaohang Chinese company has found an original way out. The new solar power plant worth $430 million, with a capacity of 100 megawatt power, operates around the clock without power losses. But how exactly were they able to achieve this? French designers in 1968 completed the construction of the Odelia Solar Oven, the largest complex at that time. Located in the south of France, the complex consists of a large mirror 54 meters high and 48 meters wide. Mirrors placed around it capture sunlight and redirect it to a mirror which concentrates them on the tower. At that time, scientists were able to raise the temperature in the tower to 3500 degrees Celsius in just a few seconds. However, at that time, the solar complex was conceived as a scientific project to study the sun and not a station for obtaining cheap electricity. The Chinese company decided that it was high time to rethink the experience of French construction and place it on a commercial basis. The Shaohang IHW Resources Saving Dunhuang Phase 2 project was originally conceived as a national demonstration project to look at the development of solar energy from a different angle. Today, the installation of photovoltaic panels is very popular in the world, with the help of which the sun's rays are directly converted into electricity. However, their efficiency is relatively low. Advanced technologies barely reach an efficiency of 50%, wasting the other half of the potential solar energy in vain. Therefore, scientists and engineers from a Chinese company decided to bet on the other, less developed side of solar energy. They decided to try to get electricity not directly, but more traditionally, through heating the coolant. Their work resulted in the world's tallest technology tower. To create it, they had to spend several years on research, incorrect selection of building materials, ignoring the temperature difference at altitude and general weather conditions could drop the building just a few hours after installation. At 260 meters high, the tower acts as a solar oven, concentrating the sun's rays on itself for more than 10,000 heliostats. This allows for temperatures to rise from 500 to 1,000 degrees Celsius in just a few seconds. There is molten salt inside the tower, which when heated goes into special storage. There, it heats the water to steam, which turns the generator to generate electricity. The advantage of molten salt is that it cools down for a long time, thereby allowing water to turn into steam even at night. A new Chinese solar power plant can hold the desired degree of heat for up to 11 hours. This allows the population to be supplied with electricity even at night. And the smart movement system of the concentrators allows to change the angle of the mirrors, thereby allowing for constant maintenance of the high heating efficiency of the solar oven throughout the day. The new power plant covers an area of 8 million square meters, of which the mirror area accounts for only 1.4 million. For comparison, the area of a nuclear power plant is about 16 million square meters. Thus, the station is compact enough to place it. And if we consider that the station does not require waste disposal, is environmentally friendly and safe for the population, then this is one of the best options for replacing traditional CHP, combined heat and power plant, and nuclear power plants on fossil resources. According to the company, the power plant can be located even in northern latitudes, where both the amount and intensity of sunlight are lower. And with a capacity of 100 megawatt power, which annually produces 390 million kilowatt hours, will provide the population with cheap electricity around the clock. Design is another hallmark of the new Chinese power plant. Take a look at how awesome the power plant looks from a bird's eye view. The speed of construction is also amazing. From the moment the foundation was poured for the tower up until the time it was included in the general energy network, it took only a year and a half. Although we recall that before the start of construction, several years were spent on research. In general, the benefits of such power plants are undeniable. First of all, it is a solution to the age-old problem of generating solar electricity at night. Secondly, it is a powerful and fairly cheap source of electricity. Thirdly, this station allows to save fossil fuels equivalent to 667 hectares of forest annually. 
The company emphasizes that it is ready to accept applications for the construction of such structures around the globe, providing both individual technological solutions and full-fledged construction services from scratch. Until recently, Concentrated Solar Power or CSP technologies were losing popularity and investment growth to photovoltaic panels. However, recently, along with the technological barrier to the growth of the efficiency of solar panels and the complexity of disposal, the interest of businessmen began to grow in the other direction. Indeed, in addition to generating electricity for industry and the population, CSP also provides the much-needed thermal factor for heating in winter, carrying out chemical reactions in factories, and for the production of certain types of goods. Being more environmentally friendly and not requiring a major recycling procedure, CSP technology may be the very cherished dream of mankind to create absolute clean and efficient energy. And who knows, maybe it is this technology that can save humanity from global climate change. What do you think about this? Please don't forget to write your opinion in the comments below. Take care.